What's going on guys, Strubbers here, and welcome to episode 20 of PGR2 Road to Platinum. In the last episode we unlocked the American Muscle Series, and we completed the first race in this series. And we're going to be continuing with that series today, with the Street Race, Cone Challenge, Hot Lap, and a one-on-one. -on -one. So to start things off, we are doing uh, another street race, as the first um, event in this series was a street race as well. And we're in Chicago for this race, and we're using the Stingray. So there's six cars in this race, two laps. Um, this isn't too bad, this race. You've got the uh, Pontiac Trans AM and the Ford Mustang are the two better cars you've got to beat. But you shouldn't have any problems in this car, because there's quite a few straights in this track so you should be able to get ahead as this is a quicker car over a longer straight and we're ahead already um, just past the first few corners if you can just try and avoid the chaos of the first corner try and get out of that unscathed and then you can just um, increase your lead as we normally do at this stage with uh, with cars that you know aren't, aren't uh, top of the, the class. When we start coming up against the, the Corvette Stingray that's when it's going to be a bit more difficult. But taking that way too wide there, hitting the wall, losing the clean race, but carrying on anyway. And taking this a bit conservatively. But um, as we go on the straight we will increase our lead now. So even if you don't do the corner so well you can always um, fly ahead with this car, it's not too bad. This is quite a difficult corner. You've got to break um, into a, a shallow corner one way and then whip the car around coming out. Yeah, and this car is pretty difficult to uh, to drive to be honest. And even in the in the dry it's difficult, in the wet it's even more difficult for obvious reasons, but um, you've got to be really uh, gentle putting the power down with it. If you just whack the accelerator on full the back end will kick out and you'll struggle to get traction so you've really coming out of corners you've really got to um, increase the throttle gradually until you can put uh, the full acceleration down but there is a similar story in this episode to the last episode where I already filmed the episode once but because of um, my issues with my uh, my capture card when I was storing uh, the captures onto an external hard drive and because it's going through a USB and uh, the, uh, the, com the com speed wasn't up to, up to scratch it was um, causing a lot of frames to be missed and things like that so I wasn't too happy so this is another episode that I've re-recorded um, I've re-recorded the actual races but the menus um, are from the original footage so in some of the menus you will see um, some glitching here and there as it missed, uh, misses frames out but the, the races are a lot smoother now so I was happily um, going to release these uh, so I re-recorded the races and as you can see behind us there we are miles ahead now so it's not too bad at all this race but yeah so at the, at the end of the races you'll see that I've already completed them and um, I, may get, I may get a few more kudos depending on how we do in the race um, and then maybe we'll do worse so we'll get zero kudos but yeah it's a bit frustrating and um, there is a cone challenge in this episode so I actually had to grind and try and do the cone challenge for a second time because uh, I wasn't happy with uh, the, the glitchy frame rates it, it's it's not good so especially in the races so I decided to redo them but that first race is done not too bad at all in the stingray pretty easy race so I think that is the end of the easier races, to be honest. There's uh, two street races that we've done in the start of the American Muscle Series. And you can see I didn't beat my previous best, so we didn't earn any more kudos. So, second race, Cone Challenge. And I'm not going to lie, this is a very difficult event. And you can see there, you just saw some glitching. That was basically happening in the races, which is why I re-recorded them. So the ghost you'll see in this event is from my first attempt when I first recorded it, but we're going to do a power slide off the line. And yeah, you can see from the track it's very uh, turn oriented, orientated. So we've just got to decide when is the best time to do a slide and when's the best time to um, drive normally. And your best bet, to be honest, around the corners is to do slides as much as you can. 
but I'll show you the optimum routes or the routes I've taken anyway to get this. Obviously, I've completed it twice now. The second time, I didn't get quite as many kudos as the first time, but um, I still passed, so that's the important thing just to show you guys. So, <clears throat> coming up to halfway through the first lap, so we're going to power slide through here. And then through this cone gate, I like to do another power slide and go out to the right side here. Because this leaves you a better angle to cut in here and power slide all the way around there. It's a bit tighter if you go on the other side of the bridge. Between this cone gate and this cone gate, you have to put a slide in. Otherwise, you will um, not link the cone gate together. There's not enough time. And the same as this one. Put a little slide between that cone gate and that one. Which is very, very difficult to link those two together, especially over two laps. So there's a couple of places that you need to put a slide in. And also that corner just there, make sure you don't break too late. As you can very easily hit the wall. Because you're going full speed coming in from the uh, start line. But this section's not too bad. This is the, the least difficult part of the track. You've got to uh, make sure you go through these cone gates, obviously. And then just power slide around these corners as normal. Hitting the clean section there. And then this section, power sliding through here, making sure you're going quickly through that cone, possibly getting a good line if you take the right line through there. Through this cone, you have to power slide through there, and also this can be a bit difficult, so you have to power slide through there. Sometimes you can't link that cone gate depending on how quick you're going. And power slide through here again, same as the first lap, go through this cone and you have to power slide before you get through that cone gate, otherwise you will run out of time to link uh, your combo together. And once again here, power slide there to link that cone gate to that cone gate. And yeah, that was uh, a pretty difficult event. That is probably the hardest event I'd say I've done so far. So far anyway. There's more coming in this series, trust me. But um, yeah, we passed there. I think I got another thousand on top of that um, in my first attempt, so it wasn't quite as good. But this is, uh, yeah, so in the first event, this is where we ranked up. So we got to rank 40 in, the, in my first take of this event. So we ranked up there. And then the next event is a hot lap. I think all these races are in Chicago anyway. Most of them are. And you can see there a massive glitch where I selected the car and it just um, glitched towards the, the difficulty selection menu. But this is a hot lap. Um, this is, I'd say it's probably average difficulty. You have to um, take the course a couple of times just to learn the course because um, you've got to take the optimum lines around most corners. But there is a little bit of room for error. But the thing with this Corvette is you really do have to brake on the uh, the braking line or possibly slightly before the, uh, the braking tire marks. Very, very unforgiving if you brake too late because it just slides um, as you try and correct. So... Keeping it nice and tight through that chicane section. Tight through here. And you can see there the back end kicking out as I put too much uh, throttle down. Very, very challenging this car. But looking forward to the, the next series that we are going to do after the American Muscle. Because I'm pretty sure from now we've got really good handling cars. So this is the kind of last series where we've got um, poor handling cars and very power slidey cars. So... It's very good. That's especially why this series is quite hard, to be honest. Just for the, the poor handling from all the cars in the, in, the, in the class. That was extremely wide, that corner. So there you see, I made an error. I didn't go um, as quick as I could do through there. Taking this nicely. This is very tight, this corner. So you want to break and then throw in a little bit of a power slide just to kick the back end round a bit more to point you in the right direction. And then we're coming into these last two corners here. And you can go fairly quick through this last section. Did scrape the barrier there. And I don't think that was as quick as my first attempt on uh, this race before I re-recorded it. But nevertheless, we still did it. I think it was half a second, just over half a second we completed that one by. And we earned two more kudos, so that was really worth it. So that's three um, events down. And the last event is a one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't actually see where that was. I think it may have been Chicago again. Yes, it was. Chicago. And this is in the rain. And this is hell. This car in the rain is not fun. But we're against the Corvette as well. So we can have similar issues. So we get straight behind him. Getting in that draft zone. 
braking nice and early. I mean, if you had to brake early before in the wet, just brake even earlier because it does not like to stop. So I broke way later than him. Tried to go around the outside, but he closed the door off and, yeah, rammed us into the wall. So that was a bit annoying, but he crashed into the wall there. Allows us to cut on the inside of him and get ahead of him. And this car looks a lot different with the roof up, I must say. But we've just got to keep this uh, lead now, defend this lead. Th this car is so hard to drive in the wet. It looks like it's going so slow as well. As you have to brake earlier, you can't put the power down. There it just suffered massively from oversteer. Sometimes if it, if it doesn't power slide around the corner, it actually understeers massively, as you saw, and it just drives in a straight line nearly. So that's why uh, I crashed on that corner. Just about getting away with that corner, just disappearing into the alcove instead of hitting the wall. But he's right behind us, under half a second. And I went a bit too wide there. That's not how you're supposed to do that corner. You'll see on the second lap how you're supposed to do that. You can uh, pretty much fly through there without lifting off on that corner. But we're sliding around these corners a lot. And this um, AI is keeping up with us. It is difficult to drive in these conditions of this car. But he's right behind us on the straight. Coming into the second lap. Yep, tenth of a second. Braking nice and early for this corner. Making sure we don't plough into the wall. Still right behind us. Coming to this corner that I overshot last time. Doing that a lot better this time. You've got to weigh up the option. You can either play it safe and break a lot earlier. Or um, you're going to risk breaking too late and ruining the corner. But taking that one nicely as well. So I think we're gaining a little bit of distance on him there. Taking that corner nicely, tight to the apex, all the way out to the um, outside of the corner. Coming on to this section before this corner that we wrecked last time. I think it's this one anyway. You can see a little bit better that time, it's still scraping the walls. Just not enough room to turn around in that corner. That seems to be the problem one. But we're keeping that distance ahead. He's not quite catching us up. Not comfortable, but comfortable enough and that time went too wide there didn't get away with it on that corner hit the wall and now he's right on our tail but we're going to this section where you can fly through here full throttle you're meant to cut on the inside of that corner allowing you to accelerate all the way braking nice and early following that racing line round this corner as well I think we're yeah he's just behind us again coming to the last corner on the home straight and yeah, just about won that one. It's not too bad, but it is very difficult to get used to driving that car in the wet. So yeah, it's one thing to be mindful of. Did we beat our previous attempt? Yes, we did by five. So that's all the re-recorded races done, guys. And that is it for this episode. So in the next episode, we will be doing a street race, another cone challenge, another street race, and a hot lap. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did... Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.